Is that going to go in focus? Who knows, mate? Who knows? That fucking Ace of Aces was fucking horrendous. Uh, I've just realised... I think we've got the uh, wrong SD card in there now. Yeah, because I need the uh, the D81 collection. Right. Here we go. The game's winter edition. No idea if it's going to work. Uh, definitely uh, the program that should boot it. Fuck me, it is working. I created these uh, D81s myself. That's why they're not in the directory there. Hmm. So the SD to IEC years have been going on for... Uh, about six or seven months actually. I can't remember exactly when I first uh, used it. I'll have to check the date on uh, a video I didn't upload and hopefully I haven't fucking uh, deleted. Right. So let's compare this to Winter Games. Also by Epix, Epix, however you want to pronounce it. It's a free country, mate. If you believe that. Okay, you have to sit through this, I guess. I mean, the graphics are quite nice there. I just want the game to fucking start. <coughs> it's not that impressive, mate. It wasn't worth all that loading just to see that sprite of the ice skating bird. Not like I'm going to get a boner over a sprite, is it? Mm. Although, technically... In the early days of corn, that wasn't the opening ceremony, was it? I hope not. That was shit. That's very much inferior to the uh, summer games, winter games. Can't remember what World Games was like. I think World Games is in the uh, D81 collection I downloaded. That wasn't really an opening ceremony, that was more like a, a title screen really. Not a very impressive one at all. So yeah, it's interesting to compare these games because these are sort of like half a decade later. They'd uh, milk the shit out of uh, anything games culminating in uh, California games. Oof, I fucking hate that. Oh, it is the same shit one. Can I skip it? Oh, no, it ain't. Thank fuck for that. Okay, it's interesting. Well, the flames are not blocky, expanded sprite, so there's that. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's uh, better. Well, not necessarily worse, it's just different. Hmm, I'm going to say mildly worse, though. Although nostalgia could have an effect, but no, I think the uh, graphics with the birds and everything on Summer Games 2 on the opening ceremonies was nice. 
Alright, let's uh, see what we've got. Luzk. Are these the same games as uh, Winter Games? You know, I don't know. So what's downhill? I hope that's downhill skiing. Because in the early days of the C64, and the Vic 20 actually, there was a lot of uh, skiing games. I remember typing one in on the uh, Vic 20 from, uh, I think, CVG. Uh, or was that on the C64? No, I think it was a Vic 20. I'll have to uh, check my channel because I probably would have done a video of it. I would, I would have gone out of my way to find that skiing game for the Big 20 and play it. No, buddy, you leave the camera alone. Purring does not give you privilege to knock the camera over. No, buddy. So I've got a bloody saying now. Oh yeah, so I did the one with the Christmas carols. Now, I've got to find those programs anyway. Put them on an SD to IC. Because for fuck's sake, I am going to have a Christmas. This house will be done enough to have a, a Christmas. Thank you. I'm going to play that on the VIC-20. Uh, if I could find the RAM expansion cartridge for the uh, VIC-20, I'd play a lot more. So the wind noise was quite nice. What the hell? So how do I avoid fucking... a oh, shit. Was I just going simply too far? Right, that was me hitting something. Yes, go oh, on, Jesus Christ. So what's the problem there then? Yeah, I've seen enough of that. So, uh, yeah. I'd rather play that skiing game on the Vic 20 written in fucking Commodore Basic than that. Shit! That's what happened uh, with the C64. Which then infected the Amiga. The Amiga... Uh, when it was supported by British software houses, they'd already fucked the C64 gaming. So why didn't it take me to this menu? Just want a normal bloody scrolling skiing game to go with the very wintry outside. Oh fuck me, the battery's flashing. Oh, well, can't actually uh, see outside, can you? Hey, can sort of. It's a bit Lewis Carroll out there, mate. Oh, bloody hell, I don't know if this is lined up now. What's happening to the bloody placement? Oh, okay. That'll have to do. Yeah, whatever. What the hell? What kind of slalom is this shit? Which one am I then? Obviously the one that crashed. Continue practice, me think so. So one hit and you're at right, that's shit. Oh man. Thank fuck the uh, camry, camera battery indicator is flashing on the LCD there. Do you 
Jesus Christ. This is an absolute clusterfuck. This is an, an insult to the fucking winter and summer games thing. Do I really want to try the games summer edition? I mean, from the title you can tell some pretentious cocksucker fucking designed it. A fucking zero out of two compared to typing listings. With a horrible multi-load from cassette. I don't know why I have to press the button there after I've picked the fucking thing. It's a shit. See, that's the problem. People getting a C64 in the late 80s probably played stuff like this uh, and didn't get, you know, summer games too. And then they thought, oh, C64 was shit. I wish I had any yes. And that's the whole point, mate. It's not that C64 games became shit. The British software industry started turning out shit because of the fucking pirates fucking pirating the shit out of all the good games so I basically just pushed out any old crap that they could fucking shit out their fucking rubbish rubbish ideas if you had a C64 in the early days it was fine you know summer games 2 is a great game winter games not so much world games is alright Fucking, now we've got typing quality for sure, boy. Right, this is a uh, sort of winter games standard, I guess. So there's no 3D at all. So it's like a fucking animated slideshow, basically. I'm not even touching the joystick. How do you break it? I'm not actually doing anything. And I fucking qualified without touching the joystick. Who needs fucking Google AI to play Pong on the Atari? Play again, no mate. I wasn't fucking playing to start with, you bastard. So yeah, my point was, uh, they started out pushing shit full stop. It wasn't just C64 games. So when they started doing Amiga games in the, uh, you know, 87, 88 era, you know, US Gold and other fucking Ocean, all them people, Domark, they're fucking, they were already producing shit games. So they just made them 16-bit versions of the shit games they were producing. Ski Jump is the last one I would even bother trying. So if the battery don't last, I couldn't give a fuck. Never going to load this again. I've played better budget games from Mastertronic, maybe not sports games. But International Soccer did actually get a release, I can't remember who released it, on tape uh, by another software company, they got the rights from Commodore. It was exactly the same game as the 1983 cartridge, but hey, if it was a few quid, definitely worth it. But yeah, that, that's really my point. And then, you get people coming on and saying, Oh, SNES and uh, Mega Drive is better than the Amiga. Well, that's where you're wrong, mate. You ain't got a fucking clue. I think that's a rip-off of the original fucking thing. So I'm probably supposed to press backwards or something. But. Okay, this is above typing quality, I suppose.
and they're fucking forward on the uh, button. Right, that's enough of winter games. Shit, wasn't worth the effort of fucking downloading it and making it.